Tip Tut. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tut. Today I'm going to show you how to orient pretty much anything to an animation path within After Effects. It's really, really simple to do. And as you can see here via the examples, you can do that with a shape layer, um, or you can indeed do it with text, which is really, really useful. And there is a bunch more options I'm gonna show you with text, which makes it really cool to do. Um, so let's just dive right in then. Uh, I'm gonna drop out of this composition here and create a new one from scratch. We'll call this Tut for tutorial. Uh, 1920 by 1080, 60 FPS will be fine. I'm just going to drop in a new solid for the background, keep that red nice and simple. Um, and then we need a shape to orient. Um, just to prove this can work with any shape I'm going to do instead of a triangle, um, how about a pentagon? That'll do. I'll quickly just use motion V2 to realign the anchor point. However, you can do that with the pan behind tool above, which I will do to actually just make sure it is in dead center, like so. Uh, visual center of the shape rather than actual mathematical center. Uh, that will do roughly. <clears throat> now, the way we're going to create the path is with a mask. So if you go over to your pen tool with your shape layer selected, uh, and you simply just need to make sure that A, your tool creates mask is selected on rather than your tool creates shape, and then draw your path. Choose your starting point, choose your next point, and I'm just going to quickly draw a wiggly line here that gets wider and wider as it goes that'll do and if you select your selection tool you'll see that you've now got a start and end point and you can click away from that path to clearly see how it uh, the shape is going to move um, now the next step then is to make this mask into an animation path and that's really simple to do you simply twirl down your mask layer make sure you select the mask path and hit Control x to cut it or go to edit and cut then on your shape layer i'll just quickly rename this uh, pent for pentagon. If you press P, that will bring up your position keyframe. Make sure you have that selected and then edit paste uh, or control V, either one. And you can see that automatically it moves the center point, your anchor point of your shape to the path. And if you move it along, you'll see it will travel that path here. But it's not turning and twisting with the corners, which is something that you might want. Uh, if it is, you simply need to um, twirl down that uh, position keyframe here. Uh, and then under the contents here, there will be a um, path option for orient to path and that will be under transform. Sorry, that's not under the toilet menu. That is uh, under your main layer menu. If you right click on there and go to transform right at the very bottom, there'll be auto orient. Just click that or choose a shortcut control alt zero. Um, it's automatically set off. Choose orient along path and hit OK. And what that'll do is it'll take the top of your shape and orient it to the amount of rotation or whatever that is needed to follow the path like so you'll see now that it's oriented to the path. If you'd like to move that path around once you've done it, just select all your position keyframes. You'll see that you've got these sub frames in the middle. Don't worry about them. The only ones you'll need to change to adjust this path in any way are the start and end keyframe. Um, so make sure your cursor is directly over, your timeline is directly over one of your keyframes and simply uh, move this, oops, excuse me, and then simply move this on screen. Uh, I'm gonna do it with the keys because I haven't locked my solid. And you'll see that'll move the entire um, animation rather than just that single keyframe because they're all selected. If you want it to last a bit longer, just drag out this second one. You'll see that all the points automatically change with that. Two seconds for me is fine. I'm just going to quickly add a little bit of easing to make it a bit easier to watch. And there you go. That's our shape orienting along a path. Um, let's just clip that so we can see it loop like so. And there we are, our shape orienting along a path. Let's do the exact same thing, but with text now. So let's grab some text and we'll call this one wiggly just as before. Uh, and we'll do a center anchor point as well. And we'll put it about roughly in the place we want it to start. And then we'll do the same process. We'll grab our pen tool with our wiggly layer selected and we go to town. You see here that we're not drawing a shape. We can only draw a mask because we're not on a shape layer. Click there. And again, like so. And again, like so. And again, like. So that'll do. Select layer, deselect, see where your points end. Um, and this one is even easier. You just twirl down to the masks layer until you come to mask path. Um, 
sorry, under text and path options, sorry, I keep getting those confused. Um, there'll be a path option. You just choose that to mask one and automatically it will go along and attach to that line. But you'll notice now that we don't have the keyframes like we did before. And that's because you have a lot more options with text. Uh, the way you animate it moving along the path is with a first margin keyframe. So we'll drop in one there. We'll quickly move along to two seconds, like so. And we'll push the first margin property all the way to the end. And you'll see that with a bit of easing, that achieves the same effect as the orient, as the um, shape path. You can see it's wiggly and it follows. Now, you can do lots of things. You can reverse that path so that it goes upside down and back to front. We'll turn that off again. You can make it perpendicular to the path which basically means that the letters follow it. That's basically like the auto orient. This keeps all your letters upright as they move along, which is not something you might want. Uh, you can force alignment, which essentially um, makes your letters stretch out rather than um, follow the path. It forces the one letter to stay at the end. And depending on whether you animate first or last margin, the, it basically affects the um, kerning or the tracking uh, if you like, between the layer, between the um, characters in the text. Uh, just a different way to animate that if you'd like. Now, personally, I want it to move along the path. So we just have to turn force alignment off. Um, and that's really all there is to it. Now, this works for text. This works for shape layers. It works for solids. It works for pretty much anything you want. So I'm just going to quickly oops, uh, select those keyframes, move both of those out of the way a bit and select that one and move it up a bit and then we can just watch our masterpiece in action it really is as simple as that um you can you do this with pretty much anything uh in after effects so thanks very much for watching everybody i really appreciate it uh let me know if you want more like this and uh hopefully i will see you all next time by the way, I recently released the first episode of Tip Talks. This is a creative design podcast on YouTube um, which in which I interview other creative designers, animators, graphic designers, people like that on YouTube and see what it is that makes them tick. I'd really, really appreciate it if you um, drop by and pay Tip Talks episode one a visit where I interview Miska from Overwatch Central. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks and tutorials. Thanks for watching.